Hi guys, I haven't done one of these before and it used to be kind of a staple on Neckbeardia but it was done in the text-to-speech format. Um, I don't really, I, I don't even know what to say about this apart from furries fuck are, furries. Yeah, furries are absolute vile. Fuck furries. And if you're a furry watching this, fuck off. I'm <laughs> yeah. not, I'm, it's not even funny thinking about them. I know, I know. I know. Anybody has sympathy towards them, fuck off too because yeah. I can't be dealing with it. Yeah. But here's the story. We'll see at the end. Fuck it. I'll post my pet abuse story. For those of you who don't like furries, me, yeah. or abused animals, don't read it. For three years I have been friends with, and as a traditional creeper, let's call him Keith. Every creeper is called Keith. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit too close to home <laughs> yeah. for me. Keith knew me through many things, but mainly the cosplay scene. He's your average creepy fat guy who sometimes tries to cosplay on the sidelines of your popular group in something stretched and terrible, but often not. However, in addition to being your classic creeper, Keith was also a furry. Oh, disgusting. He'd somehow wormed into coming with us for two cons, but every time we did not make the mistake of letting him share a room with us, he booked his own room alone and creeped about alone trying to get underage furry girls to come back with him, or would hang out in our room until we had to ask him to leave. The second convention we tried to avoid him like wildfire, to no use. Despite this, I felt bad for him. He would always complain that he was a virgin living with his mother at 25 and had no life, until one day, when I was giving him advice on how to be a goddamned normal person, he turned around saying he had lost his virginity, to a secret somebody. Ooh, bitch. For a long time our group thought he raped some poor girl he'd met online or something. He wouldn't tell us anything but would go on about how perfect she is and that she's a furry too and that she was his best friend and always had been and this was the next step. So for a month he talks about his mysterious miss rather sexually. Coming up to a convention we joked about saying he should bring his fake lay. Okay then, I will. Won't believe it till we see it. So the convention comes around. He doesn't book a room, says he's going for the day and will meet us there. No mention of his girl. We come across him outside with his dog. Oh my god! <laughs> no. no, it's not even funny to laugh at. No. See people like I should be fucking shot. Oh my. Ask him where his lady is and he sort of shrugs off saying his dog was the only lady he needed. Right then, I got a really strange vibe from him. What did that mean exactly? That he had lied? Or, ignore my vibes, get on with convention, but when I come back after a week or so, Keith pops up wanting to talk. Me and another friend end up going around to see him. We occasionally do, mostly out of pity of being his only friends, pretty much. We're sat in his bed with the dog behind us, ignoring her, as we play Legend of Zelda at his desk. After a while, I get bored and let them two play, leaning back, turning over and playing with his dog wog princess. LOL. When petting her and being affectionate, I notice she's really quite frightened of me. She shakes and fearfully winces at my hand, so I began touching her gently, stroking down her back. When she rolled over submissively, I noticed she had blood on her back leg. Um, your dog is bleeding. I'm in the process of sitting up trying to get a better look at it. When Keith runs over and whisks Princess away, putting her in the bed, in his open closet and saying yeah she has some problems and ignored my questions about it. We continued playing, all the while I was now watching his dog, worried he might be abusing her some way. We all went home but I stayed online for quite a while talking to him, sucking up to see if I could make him tell me anything. By now I'm looking through his fur affinity he's always linking me to but I'm always not clicking and it's filled with rather sick drawn pictures of dog sex or pictures of him kissing Princess, like really kissing her. It was gross. Ugh. So keep talking to him, and he suddenly asks, is it illegal here to do bestiality? Type, nah, don't think so, completely lying. Ask him why. Finally I get it out of him. He sends me this disgusting picture of himself inside of her. Oh, disgusting. Blood on his dick, dog looking terrified. I delete it right away and simply put, oh, and said I had to go. I didn't tell anyone. I was shocked and repulsed, but more so thinking of that poor, poor dog. Would she be ripped and bleeding internally? 
So I phoned a vet and said, I knew somebody who was doing this and could it lead to any real harm to her? And they read off a list of bad things to come from it that I already guessed. So I told a friend of mine, he also knew him, and we forged a plan to rescue Princess and report him. Begrudgingly, I went through my computer trash and got that picture back, printing it out. I showed my friend it and straight away he punched my bed as we came up with a plan together. We would steal Princess and take her and the picture to a vet straight away, but to do this we had to lure him out when his parents were also out. Though he lived in the basement so it turned out we could get in without disturbing them. Our plan didn't go to plan though. My friend decided he would be the one to spend time with a bastard, turning up while I watched from afar, forcing him to come out and get some fresh air, taking him to the mall while I went about sneaking into his basement home. I could see a small window that could be easily undone, and being thin I managed to snip into it head first, not smoothly, falling in and onto his bed. Onto a used pinkening condom? What the fuck is a pinkening? I don't know. I don't even want to giggle, I'll be honest with no, you. Don't, 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 please don't let don't, us know in the comments. No, don't, please don't, don't tell me in the comments, we don't want. I got up and wiped myself down feeling gross. I saw Princess trembling in her bed. I picked her up and picked up this toy of hers carefully pushing her through the window, sweet talking her to stay there while I climbed back through, hurting my side in the process but crawled out. I left another print out of the picture just outside the window in case his parents did come down and discover her gone. Guess, and they would find that. However, when getting up, I turned around right into his mother. What the hell do you think you're doing? So I showed her. I scooped Princess up and told her I'd be contacting the cops and was taking Princess to a vet, saving her from her damn son. She was almost sick when she saw the picture and cried instantly, letting me take Princess. I called my friend, told him I was dumb and kept Princess on my lap while driving to the vets. Now it was obvious how much he had hurt Princess. She would lowly whine on my lap the whole way, back legs shaking and hiding her face at my side. I pulled up at the vets with the picture in my coat pocket and carried her in, pushed past saying it was an emergency. I saw a female vet and showed her the picture, saying I had just rescued her from that, and she went about examining her after putting a muzzle on her. She said she'd been ripped but would heal and was fine inside, though stretched out and would be terribly sore for a good month. Her other problems aside from that was that somehow she was unloved and had huge abandonment issues and I realised that she was probably shut in that closet every time he wasn't fucking her. The vet was going to try and rehome her, and was sorting through paperwork with the evidence of her abuse to not let Keith ever have another animal, and to maybe have him arrested for something. He ended up getting served with a sex offenders thing, and having to do community service. Also banned from working with animals and children, or owning and breeding animals. But I stopped her and asked if I could keep Princess, and look after her. I was home a lot then so I would always be with her. I didn't want to abandon her too. The vet let me and I filled out papers to claim I was fostering her until they took Keith to court and could hand her over to me permanently. Straight away Keith was trying to sue me and get Princess back but then was shortly arrested, charged etc. Princess stayed in a new bed I brought her, keeping still with her soreness and would always have her head on my feet because I was always sat with her on the laptop or watching TV I take her and her bed with me wherever I went. I still have her today and she's a lot better now. Running about and hyper a lot, but still very nervous of anyone but me. Even my parents, though she likes my mother a lot. This is a picture of her from recently. She has a good life now, but I will forever hate furries, no matter how nice they are. Yeah, so I think we could all agree that was a bit of a hard one to lead. Yeah. Yeah, particularly bad, I must say. But, like, this is furries for you. Like, you know, I I actually can't stand the way furries can get on as if their entire fandom isn't about sexual depravity. You know what I mean? Because it fucking is. It is. It really is. And, and see if you're a furry and you're going to write in the fucking comments, comments, I'm not like this. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what you are. You're still a fucking furry. Yeah, like, you know, be honest with you. For me, um... Even if you're There's not a like that, they're banned on the Discord. oh yeah, there is. Be honest, I couldn't be dealing with that. Like you know, oh my god, they're absolute vile. Like um, I suppose that was one. That's definitely the worst furry one. I think we did. I think we might go back into the furry north because that one's 
a bit more lighthearted instead of actual straight up animal abuse. You know what yeah. I mean? This one was actually just brutal, to be honest with you. But I thought it was worth sharing because, like, you know... It makes people hate furries, so... Yeah, got to dab on them furries, you know what I mean? So, yeah, normally I would say, like, you know, I hope you guys enjoy, but, like, you know, meh. Can't really say that this time. So like, remember, keep safe, wash your hands, like, comment, subscribe, all that other good shit, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Fuck furries. Yay! <laughs>